Hi, I'm Laura, a patient navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist. During your consultation, your doctor had discussed giving a chemotherapy regimen called FEC, followed by weekly paclitaxel. In this video, I will be explaining this chemotherapy treatment. What is FEC, followed by weekly paclitaxel? This is a chemotherapy regimen formed of a combination of four drugs used to treat breast cancer. F is fluorouracil. E is for epirubicin. C is for cyclophosphamide. T is for taxol or paclitaxel. How this regimen works. Fluorouracil is a type of chemotherapy medicine called an antimetabolite, which stops DNA synthesis in cancer cells and prevents their growth. Epirubicin is a type of chemotherapy called anthracycline, which inhibits certain enzymes needed for cancer cell growth. Cyclophosphamide is another type of chemotherapy called an alkylating agent and sometimes called a cytoxin. It inhibits certain protein synthesis and prevents cancer cell growth. Paclitaxel is a type of chemotherapy called taxane, which prevents cancer cell division and growth. Who gets FEC paclitaxel regimen? FEC paclitaxel chemotherapy is normally used for HER2 negative breast cancers. Given as adjuvant treatment, which is the treatment given after surgical removal of the cancer, or as neoadjuvant treatment, which is the treatment given before surgery. In metastatic cancer, it can be given in cases of cancer recurrence or spread, depending on the regimen you received before. How is FEC paclitaxel regimen given? The combination of drugs will be given in cycles, which means that each time you receive chemotherapy, you will have several days off for the rest of your body to heal. Chemotherapy infusion is usually done over one hour, but the nurse may monitor you a little longer for any acute side effects. You will receive chemotherapy into a vein every 21 days, which is called a treatment cycle. The first four cycles will consist of fluorouracil, epirubicin, and cyclophosphamide, and the following eight cycles will be with paclitaxel. You will receive a total of four plus eight, which equals 12 cycles. What are the side effects from treatment? It is important to remember that different medicines have different side effects for different people. You may not have every side effect related to each medicine of the combination therapy. Less common but more serious symptoms include heart problems. Your doctor will obtain a baseline ECG to monitor your cardiac function before starting the treatment and periodically as necessary. Arrhythmias. You may experience persistent palpitations or heart racing. Severe decrease in your blood counts, resulting in severe anemia or decreased immunity. Your doctor will order blood tests to make sure your blood counts are in a suitable range to start a cycle. Allergic reactions. Your doctor prescribes medications to prevent allergic reaction before chemotherapy infusion. Please call your doctor if you have a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, fatigue, shortness of breath, heart racing or palpitation, discomfort lying on your back, swelling of the ankles, cough or difficulty in breathing. Common side effects of FEC include low blood counts. FEC paclitaxel chemotherapy affects rapidly dividing cancer cells, but also some of the normal cells as blood cells. Your doctor will monitor blood reports weekly in the first two weeks of each cycle. Low red cell counts or anemia. With anemia, you may experience a lot of fatigue, palpitations, increased heartbeat, and shortness of breath. Low white blood cell counts. Your doctor will administer a G-CSF medication 24 hours after treatment to reduce the chance of infection. Low platelet counts. This may increase bleeding, bruising, coffee ground vomiting, or blood in the urine or stool. Neuropathy. You may experience tingling or numbness from neuropathy caused by docetaxel. Nausea and vomiting. FEC paclitaxel regimen can cause two types of nausea vomiting. Immediate nausea vomiting occurs within one to two hours of chemotherapy administration and can last for up to 24 hours and delayed nausea vomiting presents more than 24 hours after chemotherapy administration and can last for up to five days. For vomiting, your doctor may prescribe other oral nausea medications like ondansetron, prochloroperazine, and promethazine. Please watch nausea and vomiting specific symptom videos. 
diarrhea or constipation, fatigue, loss of concentration, hair loss or thinning, pain at the injection site, red-colored urine, bladder irritation, mouth sores and changes in taste, menopausal symptoms, and blisters on the palms and soles. Please call your doctor if you feel you are not well and if side effects do not improve after medications. Please tell your doctor about any medicines you are taking, including vitamins, herbal supplements, and over-the-counter medicines to make sure they will not interfere with your treatment. For managing a specific side effect, please watch our symptom-specific video. Call 911 immediately if you experience a medical emergency. If you have additional questions, contact your doctor's office, or you can always ask an oncologist in the OncoPower app. Thank you for watching. Feel free to replay this video as often as you would like to. Thank you and good luck.